Welcome to Lesson 1.8, Using Number Grids to Find Differences. This is an example of a number grid. We learned about number grids back in Lesson 1.2, and I want us to think for a moment about what we learned in that lesson. When we study the number grid, we're looking for patterns. They're very useful for us once we identify patterns. If you look down here at the bottom where the red arrows are, I've put them here to indicate that when we go up or when we go down, we are counting by tens on a number grid. The blue arrows show us that if we go right or if we go left, we are counting up or down by ones on a number grid. If we look at an example, if I pick, let's just take 103. If I count to the right, I'm moving over one. So my numbers are going to increase by 1, 103, 104, 105, 106. If I go backwards, then they decrease by 1s. Starting at 106, we would go 106, 105, 104, 103. If I go up or down, the pattern is by 10s. When I go up, my number decreases by 10. Again, starting at 103, I'm going to go up and it counts back by tens, 93, 83, 73, 63. If I go down, the opposite happens and the numbers increase by 10, 63, 73, 83, 93, 103. Today we're going to use these patterns to help us find differences between two different numbers. We're going to use this number grid to help us answer these two questions here. I want to start by looking at which is less, 83 or 73. Less is smaller, so we know that 73 is less than 83. My job now is to determine how much less is this. What I want to do is find both of the numbers on the number grid. I want to find 83 and I also want to find 73. If I go up to my number grid, here is 83 and here is 73. The question was, how much less or how much smaller is 73 than 83? In other words, what's the difference between the two numbers? Well, if I start at 83, I'm going to use what I know. I know that I'm going up a column, and when I go up a column, my numbers go back by 10. So 73 is 10 less than 83. My answer is 10. Another example. This time, instead of less, the question is worded differently, which is more, 90 or 55. Again, thinking about more, meaning the largest number, we know that 90 is more than 55. I now want to think about how much more is it, or what is the difference between these two numbers. I'm going to find them on the number grid. Here is 90, and then I need to find 55 on the number grid. I want to figure out how much more is 90 than 55? If we use our patterns on the number grid, we want to think of it in terms of jumps. I want to figure out how many jumps down does it take to get to 90. Every time I make a jump down, I'm counting by 10. So if I go starting at 55, 65, that's 10, 75, now I've moved 20 spaces, 85, now I've moved 30 spaces, and now to get over to 90, I need to go to the right. I'm just going to write down here that we've moved 30 numbers. We've moved, when we started at 55, I went 10, 20, and 30. So if I record my work, then I'll remember that I've moved 30 spaces. Now I'm at 85, and I want to get down here to 90. When I move to the right, my numbers increase by 1. So here I am at 85, and I'm just going to count my way over to 90. 1 square, 2 squares, 3 squares, 4 squares, and 5 squares. The 30 that I've moved plus the 5 more 
means I have moved 35 spaces. So 90 is 35 more than 55. What is the difference between 43 and 60? Notice this time I didn't ask you which was more or which is less. I simply just want to find the difference. The same procedure as last time. We're going to look for the two numbers on the number grid first and circle them. So I'm going to find 43 and I'm going to find 60. I want to find the difference or the space in between these two numbers. I could count by ones all the way down and then all the way across again, but that would take me kind of a long time to do. A much faster way would be to go down, because I know now once I've gone down from 43 to 53, I've moved 10 spaces. Now I'm just going to add on by 1 starting at 53 until I get all the way down to 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. The 10 spaces I moved earlier plus the 7 spaces I've just moved now means that these two numbers are 17 spaces apart. The difference between 43 and 60 is 17. I could subtract to find the answer. If I didn't have a number grid, I would simply do 60 minus 43, and that would give me an answer of 17. This is a great way to check your work also to see if you're correct if you're using the number grid strategy. Let's take a look at the next set. I have 88 and I have 100. I'm going to find them on the number grid first. Here's 88 and 100 right over here. I want to figure out how far apart these numbers are. Well I can see here that if I go down Okay, remember that this is going by tens, so I've moved ten spaces, and now I can simply just walk over to one and two. Eighty-eight and one hundred are twelve spaces apart. The difference between the two numbers is twelve. Time for you to practice now. Here is quiz question number one. Please take out your math notebook and figure out the answer to this question. What is the difference between 27 and 49? Remember to pause the video in between the questions so you have time to show your work. Quiz question number two. What is the difference between 4 and 21? Quiz question number three, how much more is 96 than 65? Today we have learned about how to find differences between numbers using a number grid. Remember to put your answers into the quiz on the website. I'll see you soon. Have a good evening.